Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. I'm Adam. And today we are continuing our tour of various, uh, well, maybe not the top shelf whiskeys. Maybe uh, back down you by might your, by your ankles. find it a little <laughs> bit lower because it's in a plastic bottle. So this is James W. Dent bottled and bottled. Heaven Hill. Mm -hmm. The reason why I bought it, it it's fine. It's not, a, a, I've obviously had a little. Um, reason why I bought it was uh, we were at a whiskey experience mm -hmm. where they had a bottle from, like an OG bottle. Apparently it was produced on a line that ended up catching on fire. And well, that was lost, the last bottle before the fire or well, something like that. They lost a whole, at least one Rick House, if not two Rick Houses back in the early 2000s. Okay. Burnt to the ground. So that's so it's that pr it was yeah. that product yeah. and now it's it's a, just produced a little bit differently. Uh, that's what I was going to ask. What's different? Yeah, I don't I don't know. It's just a little produced a little bit differently. Okay. But it is bottled and bond, so we know it's at least four years old. Um, Waterproof. But but one of the rules is supposed to be has to be in glass. That's right. Yeah. So I'm a little surprised by that that they let that one fly. I'm not Unless sure. Heaven Hill has a little bit a little bit of pull. They probably do. They probably do. So this is done by Heaven Hill. And and honestly, if you're going to buy a Heaven Hill bottom bond product. That place has got an unbelievable bar. I'd buy the, I'd buy the Evan Williams though. Yeah, yeah. Where yep, you miss yep. the garage door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you go to the distillery in Bardstown, it's in Bardstown, Kentucky. And if you go there, it is near museum level when you first walk in like it's yes. beautiful and all these great bottles and history and all that kind of stuff and you go up the stairs and the bar huge is bar. Awesome. awesome it's yeah. huge great bar. it's got a, an amazing selection of all their different whiskeys yep. Yep. and there's a <laughs> there's a large open garage door to get out into like a deck area or an out outdoor area or there's like a side door that you could go through. And while the doors were wide open, someone decided to use the like individual door to get Which out I think there. was right in the <laughs> middle of the two garage doors. <laughs> this was first stop. Then, yeah, sober. This, <laughs> yes, this was early in the morning and uh, quite a bit sober. Anyway, all uh, right. So, I'm, the only, I'm not the only person that's done that. Someone, somebody's I watched that. Come on. I would agree. Come I would on. agree. So <laughs> this is one of the bottles that gets discussed for... You know the best value bottle. Uh, you know the, the Emily Williams bottle and bond. This is cheap, right? Eighteen bucks. Real cheap. Yes. Yeah. Eight. Real, real cheap. Ooh. And my nephew, when I saw it on the shelf, because I, I don't know, I just never paid attention to it before. But when I saw it on the shelf, and I was like, yes, and I grabbed it. He's like, you laughed at you. <laughs> Why are you excited for a big plastic bottle of booze? I was like, well, there's a story behind that. <laughs> you went around the corner. Oh, there's some pop off over here. Some yeah, some exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Too. No, I remember when you text when you found this in yeah. Pennsylvania. My first yeah. thing was use sob. <laughs> I couldn't believe you found it. I thought it was the same thing. Yeah. So yeah, for this handle, I w it was twenty twenty two three dollars. I think for the handle. It's usually about 15 bucks for a normal size bottle. All plastic? Or the, the smaller bottles? The regular plastic. bottles are not plastic. Okay. No, because I just finished my handle of Evan Williams Bottle and Bond last night. And that's glass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It yeah. Is, they're for sure. I, they're, I thought that was a requirement. I don't know how they got around that. Reminds me, I need to go back to the store and buy another one. Buy another <laughs> one. Yeah, that's, yeah. Well, it's for and, 28 bucks for yeah. a, a dairy for a drinker. Handle. Yep. Mm. Not being offensive. No. Nope. Yeah. To me, the biggest difference or the biggest thing that I get off of this versus some of the other bottle and bond, like lower shelf bottle and bond, is it's it's very woody. Okay. It's yeah. a really strong wood note. Yeah, I get wood versus and corn. More sweeter notes. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a pretty apparent I get wood a, note. A, a ripe banana. Really? The peel, the peel, and the peel's kind of peanuts. brown. And kind I of get a little banana. peanuts. I'm not getting the heavy banana note. A little bit there's, more banana. Oh, there's that banana peel. Yeah, there's a little bit more banana on banana the palate, banana. definitely. A lot of, lot of uh, peanut lot type of peanut, note. Yeah. yeah. Dry, it's dry. It's very. It's pretty dry. It's very, yeah. But, but, but there's a sweet. It's smooth, though. Like, there's, you don't get and, no, any, yeah, no, 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 no crazy like, proof to that. No, no, but it's in a little kick at the beginning, and I like it. It just lets you know I'm 100, but nothing more. It's not right. offensive yeah. at all. Right. That's Roll And that's it. It is, it is not offensive. Nope. It's not an amazing bottle. It is not an offensive bottle. It is 
fine for cocktails. It is fine for a, you know a daily drinker, neat pour. Nothing wrong with it. I don't really see this bottle on the shelf though. I was gonna say I can't. That's the, yeah, I, me yeah. either. That's why I was so excited to see it when I was in New Jersey. All right, next time I'm gonna tell the wine, we gotta pay attention. See if see JW if they've did. got it. I've seen it a couple places, but I but a smaller but a smaller common. bottle though. Yeah, the smaller bottle. I got the one when we came home from we stopped in Bowling Green. I got the regular mm-hmm. stamp that was like for seven. It was a seven fifty for like thirteen bucks. We that was our that was I did like four or five. I don't think I spent more than fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Lower proof, probably. It's probably like uh, yeah. They're all in the low eighty, yeah, okay. eighty four. Yeah, yeah. J uh, Joseph Washington Dant is the name that it, it's with named after. It was a distiller back in the early eighteen hundreds. Um, there's there's nods to history here, but it, it, I don't like. Second taste is wood and peanut shells. Wood and peanut shells yeah. and a little bit of proof and. Not bad. It's not bad. It is very didn't we nothing a, offensive. We had a didn't we have a pour from something JW Dan the first year we went to the Bourbon Festival? We were down in that the oldest bar. JTS Brown. Oh, okay, yeah. We well, I was uh we same asked, place though. Same place, yeah. We asked them for their best, cheapest Cheap. bourbon. And there was like five or six that were five dollars for the yeah. pour, and that they're like that's actually like you'll like this one. Yeah, I would make cocktails with this all day long. Yeah. I would have this. Yeah. yeah. What I was doing is I was making old, uh, I was making old fashions with half this, half um, the Evan Williams bottle and bond. Oh. Because there's a, it's a, it's a sweeter caramely note off yeah. the Evan Williams, and then oh, the, wood yeah. the wood note coming off of that one. I was just like, oh yeah. So. That's good. Anyway, all right, let's drop some water in here. See if we can. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure it's going to change too much. It doesn't feel overly oily. Right. But it would open up a lot, but... I'm going to go sweeter. I'm going to go sweeter, oakier. A little bit more wood's going to come out, I think, but we shall see. Flattens the nose out for me. I like it. It's just a little bit of ethanol. Yeah, yeah. ethanol. I don't get any, a little bit of wood. any of that Sweet banana. Wood. Sweet wood. Sweet, Sweet wood. wood. Yeah. yeah. You did get sweeter in the nose, I think. You did? The, the wood is... It's more you like stick a, your nose down there, yeah. Yeah, a, more of a sweeter wood note yeah. th- than before, which was a little like a, a drier type wood note. Again, not bad. Oh, look at that. It's not boiled, but like just the There's shells. more proof on the back end of that with the water. Oh, there yeah, is yeah. a little spice at the end. I don't know. It's kind of a funny note. I don't know. They see that some love is going on. I don't know if the water did that at all, but it added some. Yeah, there's a little bit of a funny note at the end of that. Not quite, but Boil, a little bit. Boiled peanut. Yeah. See, I was going to say, it's going towards, to me, it's going Those towards the gross, by the way. tongue depressor, the, the oh, raw wood. Oh, that, uh, yeah. Which, yeah, I know he loves. Oh. It, that, I'm getting that. It's not quite that, but it's there. No, I'm not, not a fan of the, that in the water. Now my mouth mm-hmm. is dry. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. I, got the, I got the little bit of the burn, a little spice. Yeah. But then, like, it got, my tongue got, like, real like, sweet. And then it's yeah. gone. Yep. Which for a hundred proof four year old was weird, but not overly surprising for a you know fifteen dollar, well or twenty some odd dollar handle. It is doable. There's it's not the best. It's not the best cheap bourbon I've had. Oh. I think Evan Williams is better. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Early Times Bottle and Bond better uh, by far. But a couple more bucks. Yeah, a couple more bucks. Okay. Much better whiskey. Uh, I would go there. It's not bad. No. Mm-mm. But it is like it's not undrinkable. It's not oh I gotta chuck it like if it's I not... saw I don't own I own the or we're doing I don't even own the, the regular one anymore, but if I saw this I would buy it just to have just around. to have one. Mm-hmm. Have around. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Well, we're reviewing it so that I can uh, finish work it. on killing this guy. Because <laughs> it does take up a lot of space and I've got space yeah. issues. So <laughs> <laughs> cheap yeah. bottle. Yeah. Tasty bottle. Again, it's one you so. can drink on its own. And it'll probably still make a good cocktail. Yeah, yeah. So it'll it'll hold up to a cocktail. Can't go wrong, yep. especially if you're finding it, you know, around twenty ish bucks for a handle. Yeah. Go to a wedding. That's the only thing on the bar. Cool. I'll be totally fine. fine. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Totally fine. I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> the last wedding I went to, my choice was just regular Jim Beam and regular Jack Daniels. Regular Jack. Yeah. Yeah. So I take that over both of those. <laughs> yeah. We hope you enjoyed our review of the J W Dant bottled and bond. I think for a value, I think it's a 
solid pillar. Solid, right. solid bottle to grab for your bar just to have around and avoid some moment. You don't want to crack a good bottle. Yeah. Just gonna drink all night. Maybe you just throw this guy out. Exactly. After after the pallets are wrecked, this is yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed the review. As always, we'd really appreciate the support. Help us grow the channel and hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. While you're down there, subscribe. We put out content like this about twice a week, and uh, we'd love to continue to grow the channel. And we need you to help support Give us. Give us some other suggestions of maybe some of your favorite. Yeah, or some of your favorite like everyday drinker, twenty year dollar type guys. Yep. Or if you've grown into the door and the distillery before. <laughs> I mean, or that. Or that. Let us know. So Adam doesn't feel like he's the only one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.